are some cases where the community and the counselor still has some concerns. So those streetcar stops have been referred back to the community so the dialogue can continue. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. Last year, and I voted against it. Um, the five cents uh, that we charged uh, in increase amounted to about a $25 million uh, surplus that uh, we could have, you know, could have been better in people's pockets, I think. So, and that's why I voted against the increase in the first place. So I was very happy to support the money going back into people's pockets and not charge them again for another increase next year. Do you see how this could be looked as a political ploy? For, for board member Stintz, who's also running to become mayor, and how this will I, help her cause for I really mayorship. don't. I really feel uncomfortable commenting on uh, a mayoralty platform because. But do you uh, not see this as part of her platform? Like she well, just got a motion passed at uh, the TTC board and she's running for mayor. Well, we have the surplus because, it, as, as Commissioner Di Donato said, it came directly from people's pockets and she voted for that. She voted to, to implement that. So. I have concerns. This is a very popular gesture that happens to fall into an election year. Doesn't that, you know, doesn't that seem like Nobody could have, No one could have foreseen that we would have this much of a surplus. And that's why I moved uh, my motion that was also unanimously adopted that we have a five year window, if council permits, so that we can um, better. Uh, be in tune with ups and downs that are inevitable and have become historical with the TTC to to adjust the budgets. We can't we can't plan with a fifty million dollar uh, surplus or deficit in any one year. We can't plan properly. So with the five year window, we'll be able to plan more effectively. Do you, do you see this though as a win for her campaign to become mayor? No. How about those 80 uh, streetcar stops trying to sort of mitigate congestion? And do you know How, what, what happened here? Do you today? know what I found out that some uh, streetcar stops were, for example, we've had intersections with two streetcar stops: one uh, before an intersection, which is called near side, and one just immediately after an intersection, which is far side. That is ridiculous. So to get rid of those, that is a good idea. Uh, the ones that are contentious, and there were only a handful of them, with some council. Uh, expressing their their <laughs> doubts about them, uh, those have been uh, delayed, and we'll deal with them next month. But none of these are going to be implemented until after 2015. So it none of this will be immediate. Yes, uh, Queen and Trinity. Uh, if you, uh, my assistant's right behind you. You can get the, uh, the motions that I moved there on my desk. This has a bit of the air, though, that if someone complains about a stop being removed, that's enough to have the stop stay. I mean, is that really how we should be running a transit system? We're not. We didn't do that at all. In fact, staff are adamant that some of the ones that I have moved, as a courtesy to my colleagues, uh, they will still demand that they be uh, removed. And we have to respect their professionalism in this case, and I will be doing so. So if a compromise cannot be reached, we will go with the staff recommendation. Do you see uh, the, with the, for the fair freeze, do you see this being passed at White Council? It's not going to be come up until the 2015 budget, correct? That's right. It's a report out to the budget process. So it's going to be until next year, until this actually is tabled by Council and voted on by Council? I believe that it will be a few months at least. So, do you think this is something that they would vote for, or they would have a problem with, with, with Stintz uh, putting this motion forward? It's becoming increasingly clear that we are going to have a new administration uh, uh, later this year at the city. I feel very confident in believing that now. And um, I think that with a new administration will come new protocols for the TTC. One of the things I'd like to see is a change in the fact that we are obligated to return operating surplus on a yearly basis. So you don't see that the, the surplus will be better served going to the capital budget to make That's more. one of the changes that I'd like well, to Well, right see. now, 75% would go to capital, 25% would go to reserve. But this, this, what you guys believe today is the 47 goes to a fair freeze. It goes, to, that's right. That's right. So you don't, do you think the, the 47 would be better served going to the capital budget instead to help, uh, you know, buy new buses, build new tracks? Uh, my particular preference would have been buses, but it was impossible to do so because the bus purchase is a capital uh, endeavor and what we have before is our operating dollars. So we need to change the protocols of the TTC in order to do that. And another protocol that I'd like to change, if you want to hear it, is that, is that uh, right now any kind of land that we deem 
um, surplus to our needs, uh, that any money coming from the sale of that land has to go to build Toronto. I want to change that. We'll talk with Howard Moss real quick. He said the uh, fair freeze, using the surplus for a fair freeze, is a bit short-sighted. It's, uh, Do you believe it's, it's short-sighted? A, it's a knee-jerk reaction. It's something that I, I believe that I voted for it for uh, dissimilar reasons than some of my colleagues. I voted for it because I feel vindicated that we shouldn't have had the increase in the fair hike last year. Um, we could, you know, people, it, it's money better spent in people's pockets. So are you saying that the fair freeze is a knee jerk reaction or Howard Moscow's comments are a knee jerk reaction? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Thanks. Both. Okay, Thanks. thank you. Thank you.